I hope you're seeing this the same way I am. Because once it goes down, there's no turning back. And all you guys are going to be spread out over this cold, hard floor. Now, do you see it that way? Do you? How you doing? I'm Gabe. Forrest. <laughs> Headmaster. <laughs> He's got me here in some trumped up charges. I know who you are. You do? You, you, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wait, uh, how do you how do you know who I am? I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> who are you? Send home. That's where I'm personally going to take you, Suki. Father. Tower prep is not for you. You are not for tower prep. Well, I'm here to take my daughter home. 
So you will be safe from this place when it erupts. Three's the charm. I'm lost. No. No, you are not. I'm just looking for my friend. I need to find the West Campus storms. Three's the charm. A father can, can, can sense emotion in his child. And Candace, I sense that you are not telling me everything I need to know. Why? The lockdown is still in effect. All students must remain in their dorm rooms. Why are you withholding information from me, Candace? Don't you trust me? If you had such good sense as you'd know that I trust you. I love you. But I love them, too. And I'm mad. I didn't ask for this. I just want to be a regular kid. I'm owed that. You are owed. Candace, you are owed for your sacrifices for me, for my commitment to the ideals of this school, but now is not the time to ask to be paid. Candace, the school is on the brink of chaos. Everything will be ruined if I fail, and I, I will not fail. So please, tell me how we invoke him to the West Campus. Candace, for his own safety, tell me where he is. What are you going to do to them? Suki Sato's father recalled her to Tokyo. And you know perfectly well that there's little I can do to prevent that. Gabe Forrest was found with a banned substance, Chemicadescent 2.0. I had no alternative but to place him in the West Campus. But he has a shadow. And Ian? If Ian is caught trying to release Gabe from the West Campus, he will be interned there, but under much stricter conditions. The board will insist on it, and again, there is absolutely nothing I can do. When my friends find out that the person that's been telling you about them is me, I'll be punished by them for things you made me do. Uh, excuse me, dude. <laughs> I, I, I get that this is, you know, some sort of West Campus message from the Rooks, um, but what type, you know what I mean? Uh, like, should I be bemused by this, or <clears throat> uh, should I be pooping my pants? I guess I'll just take that a summer right in the middle there. <laughs> I mean, who wants to talk in this place anyway, right? I don't know, I just thought maybe we'd chat a bit. But obviously you're not here to make any friends. No worries. Hey, downtime. I've always had this list of things that I just, I never thought I'd say in a hundred years, right? I'm sure you have yours. Um, for instance, uh, I wish we had more global warming. I wish that the Cowboys would win the Super Bowl. And one thing that I definitely knew that I would never say, <laughs> I wish I was back at Tower Prep. I guess I just miss my friends. I got three really cool friends, Ian, Suki, and CJ. Oh, guapo. <laughs>
Uh, hey guys. Was someone out here looking for me about, I don't know, 20 seconds ago? Get back to your room, now. Okay. Each one of you, hearing my voice, listening to the soothing tone, I'm sure neither one of you have any interest in making my stay at West Campus. It's past curfew. No students are allowed out of their rooms. Anything but a pleasant and safe experience. Live by the way! Die by the talent. Odin. Hey, buddy. Um, is this yours? Now, see, that's what we do the little squabs who betray us. You betrayed Odin, the leader of the Rooks. You're the reason I'm even in this toilet. Okay, okay, look, 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 look. Odin, I did not betray you, okay? Okay, and this place is not a toilet. It's gonna happen. Mm. It will. Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams, pumpkin. Dude, that was so awesome. What do you mean, three's the charm? You've tried to escape two times. The day you arrived and through the Cyclops' grave. The third time you try, you will escape. Three of you, three's a charm. Four of us. Is it because one of them told Headmaster about our plans and I won't escape with whoever it is? Suki, she called her father. He could have told Headmaster. CJ, she was close to Cal, who was a gnome. It couldn't have been Gabe. They sent him to West Campus. Why would they lock him up if he had helped them? You don't even know, do you? Who are you? We'll see each other three times. Today is one, and twice after you escape. Why would I see you after I escape? Thank you, okay? Thank you so much for doing what you just did. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. All right? I mean, I mean, if, if you understood what, what the Rooks, Odin, what he would have done to me, it, let's just say that it would have been pretty bad. Look, at least let me thank you. Whatever. I mean... Who are you? You know what I mean? Like, what, 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 what's your story? Go to bed. Sleep with this. I, I find that you're not joking here. Oh, come on. How do you expect me to get any sleep when you just told me to sleep with a full-on weapon? Is this... Should I be worried? You got a friend. I do. You know what? Yeah. I guess I do. 
Thanks, buddy. Not me. Oh my G. How did I? Uh... My name's Demetrius. Guys call me Meat Tree. Now that's more like it. Listen, Mr. Meat Tree, it is a pleasure to meet you. I said the guys call me that? I didn't say you. Fair enough. <clears throat> Look, Demetrius said. Thank you. You really have no idea how much this means tonight. I'll try not to bother you. Of course, you don't want your friends to know that you're my daughter. How could they possibly understand? So why don't we let Ian decide for himself if he'd like to tell me how he broke into the West Campus? That's fair. Convince him to come see me, and I'll convince him that escape is neither in his or his friend's interest. But what if he doesn't tell you? Will you put him in West Campus with Gabe? You're being obstinate. West Campus is nothing compared to what the board of directors can do to Ian Archer. By not helping me, you're just being selfish. Me? It's always about you. You. You and I are the same. Yes, Candace, it has been about me, but for the good of so many, none more so than my daughter, but it has been about me I'm sorry. All right. I'll do what you want me to do. Only if you do what I want to do. Anything but what you're about to ask. I want to speak to my mother again. Candace. You know what that takes. It's no use warning him, Candace. Why don't we sit down and wait for our guest? He'll show now. Transport is at the departure designation. Take her down the hall to the basement and out through the yellow elevator. 
Don't do this. You think you're saving me, but you're losing me. Your friends put bad ideas into your head, Suki. You're coming home to be with your family. My family built this school. If Sato Systems runs it, then I have no family. You are not my father. Mr. Mitri, can I ask you something? What are you in here for? You know what? I'm, I'm sorry, that's, that's too personal. I shouldn't have asked that. And look, I know I've already said this a thousand times, but I, I really appreciate what you did for me. It's really cool, man. It's kind of like having a big brother. You're kind of like my big brother, you know? Of course, I wouldn't really know what that's like. Because I don't have a brother back home, but... Actually, no, I take that back. I kind of know what the feeling's like. Back at Tower Prep, my roommate, this guy Ian Archer, he's... He's kind of someone I look up to like a big brother. He's a good Joe. I think you'd like him. Ever since I met the guy, he's always just stepped up for me. You know, and it really makes me want to do the same for him. You stepped up for me, too. <laughs> but other than you, too, I can't really think of... anyone that stepped up for me right before I got my butt whooped. I, no, you know what? I take that back. <laughs> right before I came out here, my dad. <laughs> uh, man. I miss my dad. You miss yours. I wish I was with him right now. I'm no doubt that he'd be all shaking his head at me, saying, you know, why did you get yourself in West Campus, Gabe? But at the end of the day, he'd do whatever it takes to get me out of here. That's why I love him. Look, Mitri, I'm not just doing this for me. I'm, 
I'm trying to help you out too. I mean, obviously I can't be like a bodyguard type or anything like that, but I think I'm giving you something just as good. Someone to talk to, a friend, you know? Mitri. All right, come on, man. in there. He's waiting for me. At this hour? How do you know? Waiting for what? Well, I'm hoping you can't tell me, Suki. I'm hoping CJ can't either. What are you talking about? Dude, I'm not liking the tone in your voice. Look. Somehow Headmaster knew Gabe was hiding that chemical descent. Someone told him. And it wasn't Gabe because he's locked up. And it wasn't me because I'm here and I'm not leaving until I find out if it was you or CJ. Me? Look, if it was you- I can't believe you. Suki, if it was you- You suspect me? What about you? You were the last to join the group. You broke up CJ and Cal. I did not. None of us were with you when you met with the Broken. We never heard your mom on the other end of that phone call. Who knows who it could have been? I could just as easily suspect you. Yeah, maybe you could, Suki, but when I go in that office and he tries to send me to West Campus, you'll know it wasn't me. I know it wasn't you. But if you suspected me, why did you bother fighting those monitors working for my dad? Because you're my friend, Suki, and it might not have been you. But that's what I'm here to find out. Ian! Why me? You called your father without telling any of us. But then I told you! I just wanted to hear his voice, because I missed him. I was too embarrassed to tell anyone. That's as honest as I can get. But you just put up a fight against them. If I was his snitch, wouldn't he want to leave me in this school instead of trying to take me out? Just think about it. <sighs> Ian, you know it wasn't me. Let's prove it right now. for me? I was about to ask you the same question. You texted me to come here? I believe that was CJ. It was you. She may have snitched out Gabe to you, but it was you that called me here. Because you knew, as a friend, I'd come to help her. Then you'd grab me and keep me from leaving this place. It's not what you think. CJ. It's not what I think? About what part, CJ? Maybe the I hate kids who won't get with the program, or the birthday hug, or the dance after the dance? All of it? And I'm supposed to believe Gabe locked up in West Campus, or, or Suki's father taking her away? How can I see that in any way other than betrayal, CJ? How? You don't know what you need to know. Then why don't you tell me? See if I believe you. I make sacrifices. I make them for this school. I make them for my friends, for you. I make them because they will affect people I don't even know. People who have never heard of Tower Prep. You know, the only one I see making sacrifices here is Gabe. That's why I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get him out of wherever you two put him. Okay, that's enough, Mr. Archer. No, I'm done. Are I you telling me what stop. to do? Stop. Well, obviously, this isn't what you think either, Headmaster. You think that because I came here, you're going to stop me. But guess what? You're wrong. You're not grabbing me, and you're not grabbing Suki. I'm going to leave this room, 
And then I'm going to go get Gabe out of West Campus, and we're going to get out of here and far, far away from you. And there's nothing, nothing you can do to stop me. You so want to believe that I'm the villain? Hmm? I have nothing but my evil interests in mind. The one thing you don't understand is that my interests and your interests are the same. My interests, your interests, they are everybody's interests and they extend well beyond the walls of Tower Prep. I believe that's what CJ, my daughter, has been trying to tell you. Your assumption that CJ is working for a villain is wrong. She is working for a higher cause. She is working for a higher purpose. And if you think for one minute that I'm gonna let you walk out of my office, let alone this school, then you are very wrong. Careful, Mr. Archer. Who do you think taught Coach how to fight? expect me to tell you? Yes. I want to go with you. You know where we're going. Come on, Suki. I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet you are. And who are you sorry to, CJ? The only way to show I'm sorry, to make it up to all of you, to show that I hate what I did, is to go get Gabe with you. Please. Please let me. No. Hey. She did just take down her own dad when she could have gotten you. That's something. If you had my skill, you'd know how deeply I care for all of you. I don't need your skill. Let's go get Gabe. Hello? Mitri? Come on, Demetrius, where are you, man? You're not anything. Nothing. 
you're not anything without your little friends around. I mean, who is? Oh, wow. Well, I am. I guess that makes sense. Seeing as you don't have any. What do you call these? No, it's you, Forrest, who has no friends, no one to help you. All right, you know what? Joke's over. What did you do with Demetrius? Oh, you mean him? <laughs> Demetrius. <laughs> This is your friend? Yes, Jeremy, yes he is, okay? <clears throat> it's quite some friend you have, Forrest. A paid friend. Yeah, it's his job to be your friend. Yeah, he works for Headmaster. You're supposed to be your bodyguard. Now, you have no guard. And, well, you have no buddy. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong? Now, Jeremy, the sun will be up pretty soon, and, well, we have some escaping to do. So I prefer not wasting any more of our time having... showing you the error of your ways. Sorry. Please understand. Forgive me. Please. Don't. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. God, I owe you guys one. All right, time to go. Come on. Yeah, watch game. It sucks. Let's go. Wait, wait. thing. So, what Odin said about Headmaster, was that true? Go. I'm not going to stop you. Look, why don't you just come with us? You're much stronger than me. Go, they'll be coming. Thank you. Come on. When we reach the other end of that pipe, we'll be out of town grip. Um, there are gnomes coming. Come on. Come on hurry up, hurry up.
Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh. We got the home, sir. Congratulations. You escaped. Few ever do. Few ever try. You have all shown you're special. That you are capable of stepping up to the next level at Tower Prep. She sounds like Whisper. Headmaster will need you if there is to be any hope in the approaching conflict. He'll need us for what? Why would we fight with Headmaster against the Broken or Red Fang or Connor's army? Why would we fight against our friends? Against? They will all be fighting with Headmaster. They just don't know it yet. There are only seven people alive that know Headmaster is secretly working from within to restore the school to a positive force. There is himself, the four of you, and Cornelius Tower. Cornelius Tower, he's still alive? So who's the seventh person? You? Me? I'm not human. <laughs> 